Hello everyone, my name is Haruhi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in this video, I'll talk about the performance of object detection model on different image domains like aerial images or medical images, underwater images, etc. So guys, Microsoft's COCO dataset is the most popular dataset in object detection task. And it is the dataset which we use mostly to benchmark the performance of any new object detection model. So this COCO dataset is designed to represent a variety of objects or classes which we use in our day-to-day -day life daily. Okay. So for example, under vehicles, they have classes like bus, truck, car, bike, and under animals, they have classes like cat, dog, sheep, horse, and then they have a person class. Then they have objects which we use in our day-to-day -day life. But if you'll see this COCO dataset carefully, you will see that there are no medical images in this dataset. Okay. And whenever we want to benchmark the performance of any model, we are using the COCO dataset. And COCO dataset is a, have a limited domain scope due to the nature of the data uh, in that dataset. Okay. Now the question here is, what if we want to evaluate our model on the basis of aerial images? Aerial images means the images with images of the earth which you took from the air using aeroplanes or drones. Okay, let's suppose you want to evaluate your data on aerial images or let's want to evaluate your model for underwater data set or you want to evaluate your model for a uh, medical data set. Okay, so how to do that? So guys, for that today, in my today's class, I will evaluate the YOLO V5 and YOLO V7 model on different type of image data sets. Okay, so we will calculate the map because mean average precision, whenever you want to see the performance of any object detection model, we calculate the map, right? Mean average precision and mean average precision simply means map compares the ground truth bounding box with the predicted bounding box and it will give you the some value the higher this value is the more accurate your model is okay so we will calculate the mean average precision uh, using yolo v5 and yolo v7 on various different data sets and we will see the performance of our algorithms okay so now let's talk about the data set which we are going to use in our today's class so guys this is the data set, this RoboFlow 100. This is a, a new object detection open source uh, benchmark. They have 100 different data sets in it. And if you'll see over here, they have 100 image uh, different data sets, which belongs to seven different image categories, image domains means these 100 data sets, they have collected a wide variety of uh, data sets you will have some aerial data sets you will have some data sets which are related to underwater and then you you will have <coughs> data set from different image domains like this okay and after that you can see over here from here you can explore the data set just click here and you can explore the data sets here you can see these are the different data sets and I have used few data sets from here. So one of the data set which I'm using for today's class is this aquarium. Let's open it and see it. So this aquarium data set, you can download this data set from here. And if you want to know more about this data set, let's click on the images first. When you'll click on the images over here, you can see the kind of images we have in data, this data set. Then there are train images, validation images and test images and just click on this classes over here from here you can see that this aquarium data set have these many different classes like fish jellyfish penguin puffin shark starfish stingray these are the different classes which are present in this data set and you can simply download this data set just click on this data set folder over here you can see that this data set is available in all these different formats so guys every data every algorithm accepts data in different format right so they have arranged their data set prepared their data set as per the different models so you can download the data set as per your requirement so like for today's class i have downloaded the data set which is 
uh, for YOLO V5 and YOLO V7 because we are going to run this we are going to see the performance of this aquarium data set um, using YOLO V5 and YOLO V7 we'll see how YOLO V5 and YOLO V7 works on underwater images okay so this is one of the data set in the same way I have used different data set and one of the them is aerial pool data set and then next data set is uh, this furniture image data sets and then we have a cable damage data set on these five different data sets I have trained my algorithm on uh, the YOLO V5 and YOLO V7 algorithms and then we will see the performance of our model okay so now let's see the performance of our models so here you can see these are the results of YOLO V5 you can see that for the aerial pool data set right we have over here this is the map with IOU threshold 0 0.5 and this is the mean average precision over different IOU thresholds 0 0.5 colon 0 0.95 simply means it it represents the average of map at different IOU threshold values ranging from 0 0.5 to 0 0.95 so that means that from 0 0.5 to 0 0.95 uh, uh, we will start from 0 0.5 and with the step of 0 0.05 we, we we keep on increasing the this iou until we reach 0 0.95 so that means from 0 0.5 to 0 0.95 we are going to have 10 iou values and then we'll average them and we'll get the one value map value okay and you can see that for the aerial pool data set for these 10 um, iou values we are getting the map of 30 percent and in the first one over here map with iou threshold 0 0.5 the map is 53 percent okay but when we used when we averaged the uh, IOU, uh, when we worked with 10 IOU values and then we calculated the map, at that time we are getting 30% map. And on aquarium data set, we are getting 38% map on, on the 10 threshold values and for map at 0 0.5 uh, IOU, we are getting a 74% of map. In the same way, you can see the cable damage data set, 87% is the map when we have a threshold, IOU threshold value is 0 0.5. And the map for um, the map for this 0 0.5 to 0 0.95, for these 10 different IOUs values, we got this 38% of map. In the same way, you'll see the animal data set and you can see that 65% is the map in the case of over here and 87 percent map we are getting when we are using the threshold value iou threshold value 0 0.5 so guys over here you can see that for the aerial pool data set aquarium data set and the cable damage data set for these all these three data sets our map value when we check the map value over the 10 iou threshold values we are getting map value less than 40 percent for the aerial pool we are getting 30 percent of map for aquarium data set we are getting 38 percent of map and for cable damage data set we are getting 38 percent of map okay and this is the result of yolo v5 model okay and i've trained this model all these models for 300 epochs and the image size which i have used in this is 416 and the batch size is 8 and i have trained the algorithms on rtx 3090 okay so now let's see the performance of uh, yolo v7 how yolo v7 worked on this data set let's see so for yolo e7 you can see for the aerial pool data set we are getting 40 percent of map right for this we are getting 40 percent of map and for aquarium data set we are getting 37 percent of map for cable damage data set we are getting 38 percent of map and for furniture data set we are getting 56 percent of map now guys 
what we can conclude from both the results that on aerial data set yolo v7 performed better by 10 percent map and on aquarium data set both yolo v7 and yolo v5 achieved almost you know similar map values and on cable data set both yolo v5 and yolo v7 have similar map values and guys for furniture and the animal data set we were able to achieve 56 and 65 percent of map so one thing to note over here is that we are able to achieve more than 50 percent map only for the furniture and the animal data set and these two data sets have classes which 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 are like the coco data set classes right so we can say that the coco data set like objects like the objects we encounter in a day to day life for those objects for the data sets with those objects on um, for them our model is performing better in comparison but the images like the aerial images and the underwater images right for those images our model is not performing well right so now we can see the few results you can see this image in this image these are the results of uh, yolo v5 and yolo v7 in this you can see that yolo v5 is able to predict able to detect this penguin and yolo 7 is not able to detect this so these are few results i'm just sharing with you okay now let's see the other image here you can see yolo v5 and yolo v7 both are able to detect the damage in the wire and yolo v5 is 83 percent sure and yolo v7 is 85 percent sure and in the next result you can see that over here yolo v5 is not able to detect the puffins over here but yolo v7 is able to detect those things right so th this is how you can see that uh, this is how you can see the performance of your model on even other data sets because this rf100 data set this rf100 data set they have 100 different data sets you can even i didn't check my model on medical images you can get the medical images from there and you can explore these data set these data sets are free right the 100 data sets are free and they have uh, data sets on different image domains you can download the data of different image domains and then you can check the performance of your model right by you can even uh, fine tune the parameters and then you can check the model's performance right so that's it guys i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching